Welcome back, my little ghosts. So. Back into Knit Underground. Or Knight Underground. Whatever we desire to call it. Hmm. My room's getting a little bright from the window. Getting a little bit of glare. So, there's this thing, there's like this duality all the time. Man, look at the little movements that this game has. You have the falling water, you've got the little bird there in the middle. You get the pixies flying around you, fairies I guess technically. It's just a gorgeous game. Anyway, sorry, I get wrapped up in the, just the scenery and environments of this game. Ah, <sighs> the ambiance. So there's this thing this game does to me, which makes me go, oh, I should only go places that I can get back from, right? But there's also part of me that just wants to jump. <laughs> and be like, well, let's see where I can land. Oh, crap. Okay, cool. Can I walk through here? I can't. God, I keep doing that, don't I? That is not the first time I've done that. I keep turning into a ball instead of using a special flower power. I'm gonna call them flower power. I don't know if these are ever explained. I think it's something that only sprockets can do or something. Like, I think that's something, a, a thing that is mentioned. But I don't know. Flower power. What did I find? A skull? A skull. A skull of some animal. Wow, I don't know how well you can see that, but uh looks kinda like a dragon skull. Which I mean I guess means it looks like a lizard skull, if I think about it. Kind of, I don't know. Hmm. There's nothing over here, is there? Like, there's nothing stopping you from being able to get over here. In the first place. I don't think. Yeah, I, I, I can just come over here if I wanted to. Okay. I mean, a lot of this game, to me, is just about filling out the map, so let's just keep exploring. And I wonder if people would be interested in watching those old, humongous entertainment children's games. Like, I grew up with those. I'm sorry, I don't know where this came from, I just started thinking about it. Um, just putt-putt, exploring around the world. Man, why did I bring this up? But... I don't know. I, I could totally go for like. I think that would be a fun stream, like a fun little nostalgia stream. It wouldn't really be a hidden gem. I mean, no one really talks about them anymore, but I don't imagine they're that hidden. They're the sort of thing people go, "Oh yeah, I remember those," which is not the same thing as a hidden gem. But that's why I call it hidden gems and other oddities. Let's be honest. So I can keep my options open. Yeah. Gotta get that bounce right. Or I can just walk, I guess. I want to go up top. Oh well. Oh well, it's probably nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Let's be honest. Nothing is nothing in this game. I mean, you saw the completed map. It is a 100% complete map. There are no holes anywhere in this map. Where was Utopiokia? Oh, I gotta find that again. At the beginning of the game, 
Utopiokia? I do not know how to pronounce it. I do not remember how it's spelled. So, you know. That's a thing. I want to find our house. Like, that that's the thing I want to find most, is return to Mii's house from the beginning of the game. Let's take a look at this map. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure where the old maps... Oh, there's a question mark up there. Must have been a person that I was like, walked by but didn't talk to or something. I don't know. Or maybe it was that guy who was telling us stuff about the myriad discs. I need more... I need to nail down Cilia and Dora's voices. Oh! Ooh, are we at the, um, the underground... Our underwater lab? Yeah, yeah we are. Crap, it didn't work. Ooh, underwater laboratory. Okay, whatever. Dr. Cliche's laboratory. Oh, we can't go over there. Okay. need that to go up, which means I need to go around. Okay, okay, that's cool. I mean, can't I just go across, though? Yeah, like, I don't know. That's kind of a weird little, oh, you have to go this way, but then you can just go around. That doesn't, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't understand the point of this. But okay. I suppose I don't need to, if I think about it. Well, there's an artifact there. It shows up as an eye, as an item. Okay, cool. Oh, it must be a thing where, like, I can't actually get up there. Right, so the yellow is about going all the way to the top, not just about getting up here. I see. I don't think I can jump that high. But you never know what can happen. Hmm, we're back here. But well, time to explore the bottom because I should be able to hit that. Uh... Crap, I screwed that up. Oh. Wait. Oh, it must be one of those. I see. Crap, I screwed this up. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I kind of want to see what's over there, but this is more important. All right, to the stars. We're gonna fly into the stars. I got a coin. Oh, I just got another coin. Where's my Where's my tap? There it is. It's just another coin. Fascinating. Boop, doop, 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 doop. Okay, cool. So I filled up that. Let's let's keep following along the edge here, of the edge of the world. I'm not sure if this is the farthest you can go that direction or not. I feel like oh crap. Well, that was an accident. I turned into a ball and then I fell. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if that's actually the side of the map or not, but I'll keep following it regardless. Irregardless. Regardless. Wait, can I not get up there? Oh, ha <laughs> ha! I can stand on this block. Okay, never mind. Huh. According to this... This is it? Oh, crap. This is it. This is an entire room. But then again, just because the map says it's a dead end does not mean that there's not some secret passages. So let's do a little bit of exploring before we give up. Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Wait, did I get up there? I did, right? Maybe I didn't. Sorry, guys. You gotta double check my work. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, there was a thing there. Ooh. Actual, like, puzzle level. Or not puzzle, but you know what I mean. Dr. Cliche, your lab looks a little different than I remember. Crap. Ah, what? How do I get into this tunnel? What? Oh well, there's something at the top there, so I'll just go that way instead. To the surface! Let's go! And get killed. By poison gas. Crap. Yep, okay, that's pretty much what I figured. I think there's a tail up here, isn't there? Is this it? Is it just, like, cool exploration, but, like, no payoff? This is what I was talking about before. Like, I love exploration in games, but you need to have exploration with a payoff, you know? It can't just be... What's with the sign? This is a safe place to enter the disorder. Ha! <laughs> As if the place really exists. Epsilon don't have legs, yet they manage to go places. Perhaps... Um, somebody carries them? No, actually I have no idea why that is. It's because they travel through the disorder. Obviously! Remember, that Myriadus guy who gave me nine crystals to enter the disorder? All we need to do is break one. However, it's not a very nice place. So, why would you go there? We can get places faster. It's like taking a shortcut. Me, I really need you to listen now. In the disorder, you have one minute to reach an exit. If you don't, we die! Actually, no. Nobody dies. We just return here for some reason. Of course, we still have lost the crystal. So, it's safe. Great. Well, some people have gotten insane after. Whoa. Maybe we shouldn't. We'll be fine. Just don't let the place you go to. Whatever. Wait, what? Just don't let the place get to you. Ah. Whatever you see, don't think too much about it. Me? One problem, though. I have no idea how to travel through the disorder. All I know is that it's strange and difficult. And if we fail, we lose a dimension crystal. Forever. In other words, 
you might want to wait. Perhaps we can learn more about the disorder first, somewhere. It's your call. Want to do this now? Break one dimension crystal? No. So yeah, that's the disorder. It's actually pretty cool, but it's this weird, like it's this finite resource. If you screw up, it's gone. And um, there's no real, like, there's some secret stuff in there, but there's no like, real purpose. Ooh, I got a letter. Corner piece, the top right piece of the puzzle. Yep, I'm in the top corner of the map. So there's one of these puzzle pieces in each corner of the map. Um, um, and I believe they actually create a map of the disorder or something? Something like that? I don't remember exactly. We'll figure it out together. <laughs> roll in, roll in, roll in, roll on y'all. So yeah, there's this weird thing where like, yes, every single square of the map exists. There's no empty spots. But that doesn't mean there's something to do in every single part of the map. Some of them are just there. Sometimes it's just exploration. And for the most part, exploration does pay off, but sometimes all you do is find, like, like not every little twist and turn of the dungeon is going to have treasure in it, right? You want to explore the whole dungeon, and then you'll find the treasure. Holy crap. Alright, let's see. Okay, those things seem to just move, simply. Man, my little particle fairies. Particle fairy, particle fairy. This does not let itself do a song very well. Okay. <laughs> awesome. You know, she really is a good climber. She's climbing up like she's pure glass in those tunnel tubes. Yeah. Pretty legit. I can't get up there, can I? Okay, cool. I hope you guys can hear the music well. That said, I also hope you can hear me. Ha 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 Because I have such important things to say. Clearly. Oh, right, I should have. Right, of course. Alright, let's aim this right. Well, that's cool, that tunnel is actually filled up. I like that. What'd I get? Man, I keep hitting caps and tap. Headphones? Ear warmers. Human ear warmers. Can we take this to batteries to generate heat? Aw, oh, man. You guys are so precious. Oh, I have to go back the other way. Okay. Do... Do headphones tend to generate heat? Is that a thing? The assumption is that these ear warmers are... Like, I'm trying to figure out exactly what the scale is. Because sometimes it seems like you're carrying around gigantic pieces of equipment, right? If humans are giants compared to us, right? Oh, wait, is this a... No, it's not. Oh, I see. That one is. Alright. I hope to come back. Oh, man. It's a pretty game. That's really all there is to say. Crap. <laughs> what funky lasers? What funky lasers you have? It looks like a hopper. And of course I need to time this right. Uh, okay. Without getting killed. So how long do you think it takes? Yeah, probably not that long. <laughs> Alright, where am I? Oh, hey! Nice. 
Ooh, fancy. Bronze coin. Many sprites rely on human currency. Oh, okay, it just said same description, different type of coin. Got it. Mm. Yeah, let's let's head down. Oh, I see. That's why I've been here. I want to fill in that block, those those two blocks, if I can. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think that. One of these houses has to be a tunnel somewhere, I'm sure, right? Gotta be. There you have it. And I filled in the space on the map that I was trying to get. Beautiful! Alright, cool. Like, it's just a pretty game, and I want to show it to you guys, because it's great, and just... Like, I really like talking about these, this exploration aspect to games, but the problem is, I just sort of have already kind of talked about that. Maybe I shouldn't keep showing that style of game, because really, the things I want to say about it are all the same from game to game. It, se it seems. So it's just watching me run around the world. Which, I mean, I'm okay with that, but I'd like to be a little bit more entertaining. <laughs> you know, if possible. Can we get up there? I don't think there's anything up there. Oh! Ha 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 ha! Alright. Machine, go! Alright, I think I just need to jump. Another skull! Wow, two skulls. So I'm hoping that sometime I'll be able to do some um, like co-op dual commentator shows with my brother. Uh, he streams under Trusty Fish. He mostly does scrolls so far, I believe. But um, actually, we just did a "Don't Start Together" thing together hmm. uh, the other night. You know, I was just hanging out, and so I figured I'd share it with you guys if you were so interested, but I'd like to do some, like, actual organized streaming with him sometime. I think that would be really nice. I do think that commentators, in general, tend to be better when they have someone to play off of. Um, ah, there I am. And I think Chris and I, or Trusty Fish, ah, uh, I think my brother and I have some pretty good chemistry when it comes to that kind of stuff. So might be entertaining. I'm not sure what games to play. Like, we can either do the thing where, like, one of us plays and the other one watches, um, and just sort of commentates. And that's fine. You know, hot seat kind of gaming. Or we can actually pull out some co-op. And, man, I, I love co-op games, but I'm terrible at finding them, to be honest. Like, a good co-op game is hard, because there are plenty of games that have co-op, but, like, they either don't really work well with the co-op because they are not built for it, or not even so much that they're not built for it, but just that 
they're built to also be able to be played single player, and then the co-op just ends up making it harder. Like, it doesn't actually do anything. Sometimes I can't find myself on this map. Wait, I'm not on the map, am I? Oh, am I in a secret zone? Ooh, I'm in a secret zone that's off the map. <laughs> Wait. I just realized, if that's the case, I'd like to be able to mark where I was on my map. Okay. I'm gonna forget that. But anyway. I'm in a secret zone. I forgot that there were some of these. Yeah, there's like two or three. Where am I now? Am I still in the secret zone? Really? Oh. I figured that since I was talking to a person. That wouldn't be the case. Uh, um... I'm sorry, this is so awkward. I thought you were Ray, so I was like, you owe me money, then you gave me two rare gemstones and ran off, remember? Later went to Ray to thank her and apologize for complaining about her... well, your outfits. Sorry about that, by the way. Anyway, Ray, she was like, um, are you sure you didn't just dream this? It was so embarrassing. Idea. I'll make it up for it. You should come by, like, next week. I'll make Evil Insanity their habanero sandwiches. You sprockets are into that, right? Hmm. That does sound amazing. So, I got, like, an in-world reward, but not, like, an actual tangible reward, which I think is actually kind of cool. You don't see that, though, often in games. It's like, no, all I care about and as such, like, like, as a player, you care about certain things, and then they get translated to this character, so you have these characters who only care about, like, engaging the game mechanics, right? <laughs> so, yeah, my reward was, well, it's not even a reward, but, you know, she's giving me not, like, here is a thing you can use, here are some dimension crystals, you know, she's like, I'm gonna make you a sandwich, and it's gonna be delicious, and I'm like, aw, yeah, delicious sandwich. My body is ready. Which UK was called Evil Insanity? See you next week, okay? Oh, and bring your fairies too. Is she trying to blame me? Am I still invisible? What? Oh hey, I just noticed that there was a... an inventory message. Wow, I traveled far. That's a that's a far tunnel. Whew. But no, I just noticed that um ooh, I have a cursor. That this existed. And that's probably the quest to get the poke. Um Oh well. Oh, I'm at the top. Ooh. Is it not possible to get up here? No, it is possible to get up here on my own, probably. Yeah. So if I wanna Like I need I should really memorize these tunnels, right? Like, there's no way to mark that on my map, unfortunately. I think it's really cool when um, maps let you put custom, like in-game maps let you put custom notes. I should really try Ultima Underworld, I think it's called, Ultima Underworld, Under Ultima Underground, something like that. Apparently that's like a really brutal survival game that's all about, like, yeah. You have to make notes on your map that says, like, this is a good spot to buy, get fish and stuff, like. And that's really cool, man. I find that's a really, really cool idea. I, I love how there was a time when you were just expected to write notes outside of game as part of the game. That's just something I thought was really fun about digital. Like, I, I would write down the numbers, right? Until eventually you get an in-game notebook, which honestly does make it simpler, so. It's one of those weird things where it's like, technically this makes the game easier, so there's no real reason not to include it, but at the same time, well, I don't know what to do with this magic box thing. Maybe something in the disorder. 
Because the disorder actually does line up with the real world, or real world, you know what I mean. Um, approximately, it's just that, like, it's kind of like being in, um, I don't actually know what it's called, because I don't play Minecraft, but the, like, the, the other world in Minecraft, where, like, every few meters you go, it's, like, ten or whatever, yeah. Aw, uh, yeah, Disco Robot, Disco Robot. Disco Robot. Okay, I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if the music's messing up. Oh, I can't talk to this dude? Oh, okay. Oh, Tail Village! Sprite! Hi! Welcome to Illumi. I don't think you should stay long. Man, I keep not wanting... To, I, I, I really want to see Celia say some stuff, but I don't want her to be like, What do you mean we shouldn't stay long, you jackass? You know, like, ugh. Don't worry, we're just passing by. What is this place? Humans put the glowy stuff here. Later, sprites found it and built a village. Then they left. Really? They just left? Why? They got sick. It happens to all sprites to live near the surface. Tails and Tangoras are safe though. So, now we live here. Isn't it a sad place to live? Lights are beautiful, but to know somebody is trapped in each soul crystal. What's a soul crystal? It's a human artifact. Instead of using lanterns, they caught souls and put them in crystals. That's how they glow. Are you sure? I think so. My dad told me. Man, maybe setting door was not a good idea. <laughs> Enjoy your stay at Illumin. Just remember, you can't live up here. Not for a longer period. Thank you. You see that all the time in games too, right? Where it's like, there's a thing that would affect you long term. But since you're playing a game and you're only gonna actually be here for like, a day you can spend your entire time there and not care at all, because you're not going to ever see the after effects. Hello. Hi, are you an internet? Oh wow, fairies! I didn't see you. Are you internets too? I'm Mo. Um, glyphs. They interest me. Oh, that's Cecilia. She likes internets. We're not internets, sorry. Why would a tail be into eclipse? It's not a tad too, how to say, ambitious. It's just, I figured something out. I think perhaps a glyph is not an image. Of course. Of course they're images. Oh man, silly, don't be a dick. No, I mean, okay, the, the full moon glyph, what if it's really just a sound? A sound. Yeah, um, like, or, mmm, it, it works. If, if there are enough glyphs, one for every sound, I hate to break it to you, but you're a tail. Sorry. But you just aren't as smart as a sprite or fairy. I know. The internet has studied glyphs since they were formed. I, I can't say they're doing a great job, but still. You really think that they got everything wrong and you just somehow managed to outsmart them all? Ah, look, I'm not trying to hurt you. It's just good to face reality. That way, you won't waste your time on time on the impossible. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I was gonna keep it, but I think you'll have better use for it. Take this clip. Oh, thanks. Man, I want to know what happens if we send Dora now. Ah, um, Sylvia's all, like, pessimistic, right? She's just like, ah, it's probably wrong. Which, I mean, of course, as a human, we know that we're right, right? Um... Because these are the glyphs that he's talking about, right? Ah, this one symbolizes the full moon. I love the idea of, like, archaeology being wrong. Like, we just kind of go, well, everyone, you know, people who study this stuff said this, so it's probably true, right? But, I don't know. Like, I love the idea of, like, in a thousand years, people finding our civilization and being like, Look at this! They worshipped the goddess... I don't know, Liberty! And 
they're talking about like the Statue of Liberty or whatever. And I'm just like, yeah, like why wouldn't they think that? You know, depending on how much like writing survives, I suppose. When they're digging up our culture. I'm sure there's a lot of great examples. I can't really think of any, but you know. That's the only one I ever think about when I, when I, when I think about this idea. Uh, is anyone's face following me? No one's face is following me. Okay. Ooh, house. I'm an adventure. I can come into your house. It's okay. I have a license. Hello, Tangoras. I know, right? I know. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't even thought about it from that direction. Chef's talking about, uh, sort of like, internet memes effectively. Like, man, what if those got completely misinterpreted in the future? Fascinating. Where am I going? Can I go up? I'm not sure. I mean, it could happen. I don't know. Playing the piano. The thing with memes, though, are like they're so short-lived. I feel. I mean, like, I guess they keep getting remembered, though. Like they're archived and people remember them, even if they don't continue to get spread, right? Uh, memes are memes are fascinating, just in the way they work and how they affect society and stuff. Affect society? I guess that's what I mean. I'm not sure. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. First step done. Oh, crap. Messed that up. There we go. What'd I get? Ooh, a deep cornucopia. From a distance, it looks like a flat disc, all exposed and easy to understand. Look closer, and you can see it has depth. Some people keep their secrets within them. I think there's just someone who collects flowers, and that's all it is. Like, I don't think there's anything, like, fancy about it. It's just like, well... Someone collects flowers and you can give it to them. Crap. What if you can climb up there if you are able to, like, get to the right height without it, um, trying to shock you? The waterfall, or I guess I'll, I guess it's not technically a waterfall, is it? I'm not sure. Okay, cool. So, yeah, yeah, sure. So this is Knit Underground. Let's go over what this basic premise is. So this is a game by Niflis, um, and it's really just about exploring the world and seeing what you find. The plot is technically about like. I guess you could say, like, the religion of this sort of post-apocalyptic tiny little sprite people who lived after all the humans died out. And they have this messed up idea about, like, what humans, you know, how they thought and what their society was. And there's, like, two main factions. There's the internet and there's the myriadists, I believe they're called. And the myriadists are trying to, like, piece together religion and go, okay... The humans had all these different religions, and we know that they had all these different religions. We think that some of it, like, like each of them has a kernel of truth to it, and we want to combine them all together and make this, you know, myriad religion. And the internet's like, nah, 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 we worship technology effectively. Like, all these artifacts that they have found from, uh, from human society and figure out how they all worked. But, I mean, neither of them get it right and stuff, right? But the, the premise is that there's apparently some doomsday device that only you, for some reason, can go ring all the bells of, which will summon the gods to, like, help us not get killed or something. 
Um, and the thing is, the game's not really about that, though. The game is about, like, that's just a MacGuffin. The game's about just exploring the world and seeing what to find. So you can bring up the map, and this is the map so far, but every single square will eventually get filled in. It, it's pretty much like one giant Metroidvania thing, but there's actually not many, like, gated passages to it. It's not like I'm going to gain an ability which lets me get somewhere. It's just I'm going to explore the world. Um, and personally, I find that fascinating. I really enjoy that, but... I don't know. I, I can imagine it's not for everyone. Um, but to me, the game's just all about just learning about the culture by exploring the world and talking to people and figuring out what they're thinking and all that stuff. I haven't run into some people in a while, though. Um, there were those tales back there, which are... There's a... I think, like... Ooh, we're going to Utopiokia. Okay. Um, so this game is also kind of um, kind of a sequel, because so it's called Knit Underground. Uh, one of the the previous games from Niflis are Knit and Knit Stories, but there's also Within a Deep Forest, and all three of those games take place in the same world, I believe. Okay, and this I think is a reference to Utopiokia from with an idiot forest. And apparently this is not actually an entrance to it because we can't go any further. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Is there an exit somewhere? <laughs> I forgot how messed up this place is. Um, so you play as this uh, sprite who, I'm not sure what the scale is, I'm not sure exactly how much smaller than a human you're supposed to be. And you're accompanied by two fairies who have agreed to come along with you on a journey effectively to speak for you because you're mute. Me, get me out of here, please. Well, I guess we'll just keep going until we find something. I hope we find the yoga monster. Uh, if you're interested, I do have uh, my playthrough of Within, Within the Deep Forest recorded. Uh, you can probably find it in my past broadcasts or on YouTube. I'm not doing a very good job of this. Uh, and that you play as the ball. Yeah, so for some reason, me can turn into this ball. And in, with Indie Forest, you're, you're just the ball. Something is wrong about this place. Yes, agreed. Where haven't I gone yet? Um, hello, hello. Professor Flipflop, you are in Utopioka. Tell me, what did you see? Um, so yeah, when you get to a conversation, you get to decide who goes and talks. And you don't really know what they're going to say. The only thing you really know is that Dora is kind of more cheerful and optimistic and Celia is more truthful, I guess, <laughs> and um, pessimistic. Um, yeah, let's send Celia. Hi, Professor. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, you know how there's no meaning to life, right? <laughs> Objectively speaking, that is. We create our own meaning. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, that place felt so profoundly cold and empty. Like, if Meaningless had a substance, and it was everywhere, the whole universe? Don't think too much about it, Celia. Everybody sees Utopioka differently. To me, it looks like the school where I used to study. What is Utopioka, anyway? No idea. My friend thinks it's made of cheese. That doesn't make any sense in any way. Anyway, if you enter Utopioka, unprepared, you'll only be kicked out and end up here again. But I can help you. Thanks, but I'm not going back there again. If you change your mind, there's a relic close to this place. A, a wheel. Get it and I'll help you go deeper. Oh, yeah, we're totally doing that. Me? Really? P please don't take me there again. I actually know that there's some quest that I think you have to, like ditch one of the fairies to be able to take or something. I'm not sure if this is one of them, but 
Like, you, you have to, like, do certain things to make them uncomfortable enough that they'll leave on their own, and then you can go accept a quest. It's weird. Uh, there's not many mechanics like that in the game, but, uh, like, one or two. I think there's, like, one for each of them. It's very odd. So, let's see. Did that show up on my map? Uh, it doesn't look like it showed up on my map. Oh, maybe. Oh, it, hmm, wait, I'm, I'm there? Oh, I didn't expect to be there. Okay, let's go back again. See if I can find that item that's glowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so that is the, uh, the wheel. I did not expect it to be so close. Don't take the wheel for the pleasure flip up. Oh, I don't want to go to Utopioki again. Damn your curiosity. Come on, Celia. I want to meet the yoga monster. Because the yoga monster is the best. And how are you going to meet the yoga monster? We brought your wheel. Hold on to it. It cancels out some of Utopioka's powers. But it doesn't stabilize it entirely. That doesn't matter. I never want to go to see that place again. You have plenty of time to change your mind. If you bring a map, don't trust it. Also, you can't enter Utopioka from this area. This place seems to work as an exit only. But what happens if I try? Oh, it just takes us to this weird zone that'll not do anything. Okay, that makes sense. Sounds reasonable. All right, cool. Now the question, of course, is where did I enter from in the first place? I think it was that top section that's disconnected from the rest of the map. Yeah, that sounds likely. Ooh. 